if the knee is pointing up, he's no longer pointing me in that direction, right? It's kind of pointing up towards the ceiling where he can frame my chest or he can hook my hamstring. Yep. And based on that, I'm gonna be making, again, an informed decision on how to pass my opponent's guard. In this case, because the knee is up, I'm not gonna look to fold. I'm gonna look to step out of the danger zone completely. So I bring my knee inside, I connect my hip to their hip to, uh, to a position where I'm now perpendicular to my yep. opponent. I'm gonna be able to now back step, get my legs uh, isolated around the hip, oh, exactly. Now I can start looking to leg drag. And last but not least, if the knee is pointing out, it's gonna be incredibly difficult to force a folding pass. It's gonna be it's sticky kind of... to back step. Yep. <laughs> but look, he's essentially opened up the space yep. on this side. So now it's gonna be easy to shoot my hand down to the mat, looking to knee cut across the hip, and, and finish a knee cut. cut. And there's yeah, lots of knee cut variations, right? Yeah.